Clean Treatment Have you ever wondered what consequence might arise from a mere visit to a dentist? If safety and sanitary rules are not strictly followed, an apparently harmless visit might in fact pose a threat to your health. We are surrounded by a world of microorganisms. Without them, there would be no life on Earth. However, some of those microorganisms may be dangerous and some may even prove deadly. At the dentist's office, patients and staff are particularly vulnerable to infections transmitted by respiratory droplets through saliva and blood. Most dental procedures disrupt the continuity of tissues, which increases the risk of hematogenous pathogen-related infections, such as HCV, HBV, or HIV. There are about 500 million people infected with HCV and HBV viruses in the world. Every third inhabitant of our planet is infected with tuberculosis. 8% of them falls ill. In most dental offices, safety and sanitary rules are not followed and patients are not sufficiently protected against infections. Does your dentist comply with all the rules of hygiene? How can you tell? It is very simple. During the visit, look for the following signals. If your doctor meets you while wearing gloves, does not wash their hands before the treatment, does not take off jewelry or a watch, uses multi-use gloves instead of sterile disposable ones, does not put on a disposable apron prior to treatment, works alone without any assistance. Your health might be at risk. Furthermore, if your doctor does not take time to disinfect their tools, the dental office is entered by the next patient as soon as you leave. There are tools and medicines already laid out in the cabinetry. Dental unit tools are already equipped with tips. Tips are not taken out from sterile packaging, which is opened in front of a patient. Tips are disinfected and not sterilized. There is a clear indication that the dental office does not follow the basic sanitary regulations do you think this is an overstatement? We will prove to you that it is not. Here is a typical visit to the dentist. In order to show how fast bacteria spreads, medical gloves were covered with red paint. As it is the case in most dental offices, the doctor is working on their own, using non-sterile gloves taken from a multi-use container and wearing a non-disposable apron. During the treatment, he is touching the lamp and the desktop of the dental unit. What is more, he is opening drawers, changing tools and tips, making suitable preparations, and even answering the phone. The effect is alarming. The office is full of red spots. Now imagine that those red spots are caused by bacteria that were spread by a dentist, which did not comply with safety and sanitary procedures. These bacteria are potential risk for the next patients as well as the staff. In most dental offices, the equipment is disinfected with a special preparation that is applied to its surface and then wiped off after a brief moment. It is definitely not enough to ensure the safety of the patients. If the disinfecting preparation cannot easily remove the washable paint, how can it deal with dangerous bacteria? All tools disrupting the continuity of tissues must be strictly sterilized in an autoclave. You are wondering what it should look like, right? Well. We can see that the doctor is not working alone and has two assistants. Both the doctor and one of the assistants are wearing disposable aprons and use sterile disposable gloves. In such conditions, the patient may be assured of their safety. In order to protect the patient and medical personnel from infection, a special program was developed. It is called the Medical Center Certification Program, Clean Treatment. As a part of this program, special procedures were developed with the aim of helping to ensure the compliance with safety and sanitary regulations by clinicians. The program is designed primarily for patients who want to be 100% sure during a medical or cosmetic treatment there will be no cross-contamination stemming from another patient. The program is based on a set of principles included in the clean treatment system. We have called it INSPECTOR. What does it stand for? I for infection area. A doctor working in the clean treatment system touches only sterile objects or those protected with sterile castings. Thanks to that, a clinician does not transfer germs from a patient to all objects he touches. 
Otherwise, germs could easily be passed on to the next patient, hence paving the way for so-called cross-contamination. And, for never alone, a doctor working in the clean treatment system should be assisted by two staff members. One of them, the so-called clean assistant, passes clean tools and materials to the clinician, and the latter, the so-called dirty assistant, passes medications and helps the clinician to open packaged sterile instruments. S for sterile hands, which obviously means sterile clean hands. Dirty hands cause many infections. The clean treatment system assumes that simply washing hands is definitely not enough. Moreover, most disposable gloves available on the market also fail to meet our standards of safety. After opening the package, gloves can very easily become contaminated. Each pair of dispensable gloves should be individually packaged. That is the only way for us to be sure that gloves are sterile and clean. P for Partners The program of the clean treatment involves many companies and institutions that promote it with their experience, knowledge and products. The association also enjoys strong support from the medical authorities and organizations dedicated to patients' rights. Some of the institutions that support the program include the Association for Assistance to HCV Infected, Prometheus, the Premium non nozere Association, the Polish Association of Epidemiological Nurses, the Polish Cleaning Chamber of Commerce, E for Ergonomic Work, the clean treatment system puts special emphasis on the effectiveness of the clinician's work. Proper lighting and room temperature, as well as a minimal noise level, are supposed to guarantee the elements of a human machine environment system can cooperate closely in order to ensure the most optimum conditions for treatment and work. CT for controlled treatment. In other words, a treatment process which is under full control. Patients undergoing surgery in a clean office which uses clean products can feel absolutely safe. Precautions taken in clean offices are extremely stringent. This, however, guarantees 100% certainty and safety. OR for overall responsibility. Due to the restrictive compliance with all the principles of the clean treatment, our clinicians can assume full responsibility for the health of their patients. Clean treatment is a response to the needs of thousands of doctors who every day use the maxim, which is as old as medicine itself. Premium non nozere Clean treatment program is aimed not only at dental offices, but also at other medical facilities. Certificates, which are a part of the program, can be awarded in five different categories. Clean office, clean hospital, clean clinic, clean renewal, clean product. The Medical Center's certification program, Clean Treatment, was launched in order to facilitate the identification of fully safe offices, clinics, and hospitals. Entering a medical facility that has been awarded a Clean Treatment Certificate, a patient can be sure that the facility complies with Inspector System, and Inspector is a guarantee of safety.